People say that it's never too early to start a new habit, but this habit might just be a little bit too early, literally speaking. Like so many others, this winter is sending me into a bit of a slump and my productivity is falling victim to that. So I've decided to challenge myself with waking up at 5 a.m. to reclaim the most valuable currency there is, time. So let's hope you went to bed early, girls, because here we go. Good morning guys, it's 5.14. I can't believe I'm up right now. I was editing video yesterday, so I got to bed really late. I survive on seven hours of sleep, but I thrive on eight. And I think right now I've gotten less than six, so that's gonna be a problem later. But I actually feel pretty awake right now just because I could not sleep at all last night. I could not sleep. So it's been feeling like I've been awake all this time and I've actually just been excited for 5 a.m. so I could get up and get out of bed. This doesn't happen often, I'm a good sleeper, so I'm a little bit frustrated, but that's okay. Since I posted video yesterday, the first thing I usually do in the morning is answer all the comments and check socials and all of these things, just making sure everything's okay. And connecting so I'm gonna spend the first 20 minutes doing that. Growing up in a country like Denmark, where majority of the winter is dark or even pitch black, you quickly learn to take your own experiences into your own hands. I do believe that thoughts create emotion. I've learned to actively love the darkness with candles, with smiles, with cozy vibes and good ambience. Because if you don't, the darkness will take you over, overwhelm you and give you winter depression. <laughs> so I can confidently say that I love this morning because of the darkness, because of my candles, because I choose to smile and because I'm reading a good smutty book. <laughs> okay, it is actually insane how fast time flies. It's 9.45 and I can't believe that I've been awake for like almost five hours. It does not feel like it. I hope you trust me when I say that it feels like I've been awake for my, maybe like an hour and a half. It does feel really nice waking up early and like seeing the sunrise with me. I actually thought 100% that it was going to snow today, but looking out, it just looks like it's really smoggy and like very polluted. So that makes me a little bit sad. I had hoped for snow, but either way, I'm trying to like get myself to wake up a little bit more. The reason why I really wanted to do this where I wake up early is because like I've realized after finding my newfound hobby of reading, I just tend to spend a lot of time doing that. And then I tend to perhaps sometimes favor that over working. And it's just not good, especially when I'm in a moment where I really, really want to get back to working harder than I did in the past couple of months where I've really just like taken a step back a little bit. And you know, before I had reading, what I would spend my time with was scrolling on TikTok or scrolling on social media in general, which I think we can all agree is not entirely healthy habits. And the reason why I do want to change my lifestyle so that I can actually do more of this habit that I now have gained in reading is because I, I see it as a good habit. Like it's not a bad hobby, right? I suppose that it's bad if it overtakes the rest of your life, if it overtakes the moments where you're supposed to work or where you're supposed to be social instead. And the second that it does that, it probably should be something that you should question with yourself. But for me, reading has taken up the part where I usually would spend scrolling on social media. So it's, it's a habit that I want to keep and it's a habit that I want to form into what my current lifestyle looks like, or at least the lifestyle that I want to live. So this is a really nice way to like give myself that option to wake up early and then spend the first couple of hours of the day just reading. I could you not, this makes me so peaceful. Just waking up here this morning and turning on the candles and sitting and drinking my coffee. I could get used to this. I do start to feel though that I'm getting a little bit tired, so I really need something to wake me up fast that's not caffeine. So I'm thinking I just want to whip together a little dough of some bread and then I want to go to the gym because I need to get my blood pumping. I need to really feel like I'm awake. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Oh 
my gosh, guys, I had to leave the house so fast. Don't ask me how that's possible when I've been awake for nine hours and still I'm suddenly in a hurry. It's ridiculous, it's so typical me. I think tomorrow I really need to like check how I spend my time in the morning because obviously something is wrong. Anyways, I'm going to a cafe in Pangbe to meet Sarah from Two Hearts, One Soul for the first time. I'm really excited. <laughs> I haven't met her before. disappointed in myself almost like a little bit of feeling of stress do you know that feeling when you have like like a knot in your throat almost I think it's just it frustrates me that I've had such a long day and yet I've managed to do what feels like absolutely nothing it really disappoints me because there's a difference between today and last week. Last week I had still planned on doing bare minimum and recharging and like figuring out what I want to do and then from today I wanted to get back on it and start working a lot and putting what I've thought about into action and like so my intention was different and I just did not follow through on that. Like I didn't do what I had promised myself to. Unless I'm sitting in front of my computer and specifically doing something there, I don't get the like sense of accomplishment and I don't get the sense that I'm working. Even though like I'm, I've been filming all day both for YouTube and for TikTok, because it's something that comes so easy to me and it's so enjoyable for me to film, I don't consider it as work in the same way. Like I don't put it in that box mentally and so I feel like I've done absolutely nothing and and like accomplished zero and it just makes me feel so bitter inside more like towards myself it makes me feel like like a piece of shit <laughs> I know that's being hard on myself and I know this is just like really negative self-talk but I think it helps speaking it aloud because it's like it's eating me up inside if I don't talk aloud when I have issues like this, I tend to solve it or like attempt to solve it very like practically. And that's also something that I talk about with my coaching clients as well. It's like, okay, you can't really change that. But what are something that you can put into action? What is something that we can do right now that is going to lessen um, either the load for tomorrow or for your feelings right now? I know the one thing that is going to put my mind at ease is going to like highlight exactly what it is I then need to do tomorrow so that I don't wake up being confused and probably have forgotten half of it and don't have like a clear game plan first thing in the morning. So that's a general thing that I always do is put my schedule for the next day down the evening before and that's helping me a lot. I didn't do that yesterday. I was editing until 10 p.m. and then uploading and answering comments and such. So. I think that also definitely aided in my current frustration. Yeah. What time is it? It's 9.45 <laughs> and I'm ready to sleep. I think I just want to lay and look at the ceiling a little bit and then fall asleep. I really want a new day to start already. this morning with such a strong feeling that today is a new day and today I can redefine myself again. I'm not a lazy person, I just had a lazy moment or a lazy day. But most importantly, I haven't broken my promise to myself because I can prove that I can still do it today. And I actually think that this is not talked about enough. I don't think that a lot of people are fully aware of what really happens when we break a promise to ourselves. Continuously breaking promises to ourselves can really damage our relationship with ourselves and our future capabilities of actually executing. For today's schedule, I wrote out so many small things as well as big things on my to-do. Just because I know that if I start with 
some of the small ones, I will start gaining back that trust with myself because they don't take that much energy to complete and time. And once I've done that, I find that my trust in myself is come back and I'm much more inclined to then go and do the big goals as well and continue doing that because I trust myself and I want to keep proving that to myself. So just remember, there's always a new day tomorrow. I think it's around 9 a.m. right now and I've spent three hours or so reading my book but I can already just feel the difference that having written my like schedule out and making like a bullet point list of things that I have to get done has helped me so much just relax into it because I know the plan I know what I'm supposed to like start doing and I know when I'm going to start doing it you know it's really embarrassing yesterday I actually went with Freya after I saw Sarah to go to an event. Couldn't really find any signs or anything. It was quite odd. And then we looked at each other and realized that it was next week. <laughs> and that was really embarrassing for me. I never thought that I would use the word unorganized to describe myself, but that was me yesterday and I don't relate to it. I feel like I'm always a very highly organized person. So I think my head is just was somewhere else yesterday. I'm in a different mindset right now i am a little bit more kind to myself today than i was yesterday so it's going well This looks cute. <laughs> wow, girls, it is freezing today. It's ridiculous. It is still so early. It's 1 p.m. and I feel like I've gotten so much work done. I've cleaned the house. I've done all the laundry. I've done half of the work that I then could do on my big computer. And I've read my book for hours. It's ridiculous. So I thought it's time to bring my, my trusty little laptop with me and go find a cute cafe. I'm missing Sile particularly a lot today, so I wanted to go to a cafe that we used to go to. It's called Oats Cafe, I think. I got a lot of work done at the cafe. It was a really productive hour and a half. I actually sat really comfortably, but I really want to go check out this other cafe that I passed by filming the Yongsan video. So that's the plan. I want to take you there, see if it's any good and continue working there. Oh, I feel great being this productive. I know that it can't be like this every single day, but I just have to remind myself how good I feel when I actually put in the work. Like a lot of the time when you're feeling stuck that you don't really do the things that you promised yourself to. The hardest part is just getting up and getting started. Once you're going, it's great and it feels good and then you're reminded why you love it. Well, if you love your job, I feel really blessed that I do. So yeah, okay, let's go find the cafe. new bag from Christine Project from like W Concept. This is one of my favorite Korean bag brands. It's just so cute. Look at this. <sighs> I'm obsessed. You always ask where my bags are from and I always get them from W Concept because they just have all of the good brands and specifically Christine Project. I have so many bags from them. So pretty. Anyways, the sun is setting and I am on my way to find a wine shop because it's Friday and I'm cooking for Jake tonight and I thought I would bring a bottle of wine. <laughs> as simple as that. Success! <laughs> to be honest, we haven't had wine in a very long time. I don't know, these days I'm just not drinking that much. 
Like I'm not really like a party drinker, I'm just an, an enjoyable drinker. But I really haven't been drinking much, I don't know. We're feeling for some cozy, cozy time. While obviously still keeping in mind that I have to get up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> it's okay, it got easier today. I just have to not get to bed too late. On the menu today is pasta in feta sauce with spinach. I've made it once before and it was so good. If you put artichoke and if you put feta in anything, it's heavenly. So that's the plan. I'm just gonna wing it. Well, as much as I can. Being a Virgo with a recipe in front of me. That's the opposite of winging it. <laughs> guys to 5 a.m. challenge day three it's Saturday morning and I have a goal this morning which is to finish this book I think I have like <clears throat> excuse my verse I have 50 pages left yeah <sighs> today is such an exciting day by the way we're first going apartment hunting and then we're going to have the handbook photo shoot tonight I hope I'm not gonna be too tired anyways let's get cracking it is now 2 p.m. and in a little bit over an hour we have to head out for the shoot. I still am not really sure what Nuri get to go for for my clothes. Like, like I feel like this one is more my style, like the green one, and then it's also special because I made these parts of it. But then I have this one that very obviously fits with Jake handbook. Jake's handbook better. Like, look at these colors together, like Jake's. That obviously looks the best, right? And it fits with mine as well. Anyways, I, I need to figure out, like, I need to Google how to get into a handbook again, because I forgot what the lady told me, like, how to tie different things, where to put the nudie game. Oh, I think I remember that, but yeah. It's, it's an actual process to get into this. <laughs> we came home half an hour ago from apartment hunting, and it was just... Didn't find the dream house, didn't miss anything. Let's get to it, shall we? This is the underskirt that I was almost cutting when I opened it. This is definitely easier with those ladies helping you. I think I'm gonna go with the green. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, but... You're doing pretty good, I think. Yeah? This is supposed to hang on the left, right? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I question if Jake is actually Korean or not. <laughs> oh. oh, I forgot how to do this. I need to watch a video and then figure it out. Okay. I think I got it, but I just feel like it doesn't really sit flat on me, you know? Like, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> if it's completely wrong, hopefully there's like an Ajuma on the street who's correcting it for me. I don't know, wishful thinking. Let's hope. Ta -da! And I did my hair like this. I just twisted it inwards and then I like put it in a bun and then I a whole lot of uh, hairspray because my hair is so short like it doesn't really and then it's so soft as well it doesn't hold so hopefully it holds in the wind now let's see Ta -da! I'm very satisfied yeah. <laughs> yeah we got the goods Oh my god, 
Yeah, all of these. Oh, so these amazing are, These are the ones you can put in your pocket, and then I got the ones you can stick on your body. Fantastic. If you guys are like, if you need it. I, I, I have a PTSD with that. Uh, back in my military service, I burned my nipples. <laughs> it was because I put those in my, you know, the top pocket in your military shirt. So I had it for 24 hours and then came back to my base, showered in and saw this like burnt fucking mark. So it looked like my nipples were crying. Like as it, as it is, it, it, they were like eye, eyes, you know, and then it was like, yeah, like blood tears. I can say that Jake's nipples are very much well intact now. <laughs> mistakes going into this challenge. The first one was to not go gradually into it. I know that all the smart people like Andrew Huberman says that if you want to actually transition into waking up earlier, which is really good for you in general, you should probably move it 15 minutes at a time over a week's period. So I think like from now on, that's actually what I'm gonna do. The other mistake that I made was to not prioritize getting to bed early enough in the evening. You know, I actually tried to prioritize it. I just, I just physically could not. I think my rhythm was not changed properly. That's where that gradually change could come in helpful. But at the end of the day, I thought that this would be pure pain, no pleasure. But to be honest, this was so amazing. This was really something that I have come to appreciate that I did because I'm going to keep waking up early, probably not 5 a.m., but like maybe 6. I'll start at 6.30 and push it back from there. But I enjoyed these peaceful moments alone where I could just sit with a book and read for hours without really the city being awake, you know? It was a great thing. I really loved it. I recommend. That's my take from this. Let me know if you've done this before and what you think about it and if you have any tips. For a little while, this is going to be my upload time every week. So I hope to see you again here next Sunday slash Monday, depending on where you are in the world. I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.